Crossroads. Robert Johnson, legend would have it, Robert Johnson went down to the crossroads to sell his soul to the devil so he could be a great blues man and write songs like this, Crossroads, Crossroad Blues. I'm Red, and today I'm helping you take a look at the song Crossroads. A cool song, I'm doing it in the key of A, um, which is... I believe the same key that uh, Robert Johnson did in. I'm doing more of an Eric Clapton version. Um, the Robert Johnson version would be more acoustic and much slower. Um, and doesn't have that lick, really. Doesn't really have that lick in it. Um, you know, you can YouTube it and you can check out the original version. Most of us are going to end up at a jam session or doing this, you know, with our band or whatever. Um, and we're going to do it electric and we're probably going to do it, um, you know, more like the Clapton version. But everything I'm showing you here could apply to acoustic as well. I'm going to roll through the track and um, demonstrate a little bit real quick what I was doing in the rhythm. And then I'll stop and talk about it roll the track and play some lead and talk about that as well. So here we go. Rhythm. Now it's it's an A but we're doing this to a D7. D7 back to A. To an E. D7 Okay, so, and I went to a turnaround there, but necessarily it doesn't. I, obviously, it, the track didn't go to a turnaround. Um, some, t you know, it, it just depends on what's happening um, at the moment. You know, if you're in a band or if you're at a jam and they do the turnaround, well, then, you know, you do the turnaround. If not, I guess um, you don't do it. And um, using your ear and hearing when th these things happen, um, that's a critical part. Remember to always listen to everybody else more than you listen to yourself. Anyway, um, you know, we had A, D7, and E, and I just played my E like that and kind of, you know, got a little, was a little chunky on it. Um, the only tricky part here is that, that the, the lick in A, and basically I'm hitting an A string, the fifth string, then the third string, which is an A as well, so it's the octave. I'm lifting my finger and then putting it back down. So I'm going to do that lick slow, and that's where it's happening, but I'm sloppily allowing some of the other strings to get involved, but the actual lick is happening right there. F fifth string, third string. Back to the fifth string. And then sloppily with the strings in it. Okay, so you get the idea of the lick. You just have to practice it for a little bit and you'll get it. Then the D7, the E. You could also use ninth chords. Three or four, five. You could use major chords. I noticed Eric Clapton on a video was just playing major chords. So, um, your choice, you know. Um, I also noticed Clapton did that D7 thing down there, which really kind of sounds warm. So, you know, play around with different chords and, uh, you know, get that lick down and, and you got the song. That's it. Um, now, as far as solo... Uh, a minor pentatonic, you could go into major pentatonic, um, and, you know, A major, A minor pentatonic, blending the two. Um, I kind of notice Eric Clapton a little more in the minor pentatonic, and I, I mention, keep mentioning Clapton because I think his version is, you know, one of the most famous and most listened to versions, um, so that's why I mention that. Um, 
And Clapton has that, you know, very cool, unique style. Um, he's not in a big hurry. He's laying down some digestible notes, you know, something that, that the listener can comprehend, you know, not anything real complex, just really tasty. And I think that, you know, that's, I think that's just a great approach. Um, but anyway, so I'll roll the track. I'll play a couple of licks over a verse, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. I'll show you some licks. You know, I did a little, I stole a little lick there from Eric Clapton that I'm going to give to you. Um, basically, I was playing in um, A minor pentatonic. I, I never really ventured out of it because it just, you know, that felt like where I should be. Um, perhaps if it was an extended solo over a couple of verses, maybe I'd start wandering into the major pentatonic. But um, I stayed in the minor, you know. Again, you have options, so, you know, look for them and use them. Um, you know, the, the licks I was playing were very simple licks. I'm all right in there in the beginning. And, you know, from there I went up to the next position. Okay, and I just played licks in there. Okay, so, you know, I mean, create some licks, listen to Eric Clapton, copy some of his, listen to my solo, copy some of mine, um, create your own. That's really where it's at. Um, but I did say I was going to give you an Eric Clapton lick, and so it's right here. Um, and it, it just kind of goes like this. Basically, I just bent the first string. You know, I'm at the 10th fret. I'm bending. I give it just a little tiny bend when I go down to the 8th fret. So now we've got those two notes right there. Then I hit the second string at the 10th fret. A little vibrato, maybe. There's that first look. And you notice that that last, um, I'm, I'm, it's an upstroke, and I'm really nailing it. You know, I'm um, getting aggressive. A little vibrato. And then the end of the lick is goes back to the eighth fret, first string. 10th fret, back to the 8th fret. And that part of the lick goes like this. Slight bend with the first finger. Now the whole lick together, slowly. Now the whole lick at tempo. And you notice there's that little hesitation before that last note. And um, that's just kind of a phrasing thing. And I think that it's just my, myself trying to emulate what Clapton was actually playing. Um, the video that I stole that lick from is out there on YouTube, easy to find. Um, I forget. Let me see if I can find it real quick before I sign off from you folks here. Let's see. It's on YouTube, and it's called Eric Clapton Performs Crossroads Live, and it was uploaded by Guitar World. So if that helps you, if you want to steal some licks, it's actually a nice version, and uh, I copped that lick from him right there. 
and uh, just verified everything else before I uh, recorded. Anyway, I hope this helps you all. Again, I'm Red, and I'm here courtesy of TrueFire. Um, so, you know, hey, slip over to TrueFire.com, uh, check out the video stuff they have there, video lessons, and also the Guitar Sherpa, where I have my own classroom. You can come and actually learn this and many more songs.